straight? You want to shoot your machine? No. Put your weapons away. I'll let Al here explain to you something. If you talk to your washing machine, it'll talk to you and it'll tell you what's wrong with itself. If you have one of these kind of washing machines, this is the kind we got here. Let me get too close so it won't focus. Alright, this is a dial like this and it has these roll buttons down here. <clears throat> So that means that this kind of washing machine is capable to talk to you through its automatic test mode. So I'm going to show you how to do that test mode. First of all, we're going to turn this dial uh, at least one full complete turn to the left. Now we do this little combination. Left, right, 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 left, right. And you see these lights are just lit up and blinking. That means that we're good. This is the right way to do this. Now, we're gonna keep turning this dial until we got only this one light on. So we go like this, again, there. That's only one light on. Now, when we hit the start button, it'll go into a test mode. Here we go. It just tested the cold water inlet valve. It's running water in now, and then it's going to test the hot water valve, and then it's going to test both hot and cold at the same time. So now it's got both hot and cold water going, I believe, now. And that takes about 45 seconds. While we're doing that, I'll show you how to get the poke out of this machine. Here's a poke like this inside the machine right here, inside this panel. In order to get into that panel, you have to go back here, take this little panel off of here, which is three screws. One, two, three. Then you go to this little hinge and take off the top screw on each side. After you've done that, then you can take the whole top of the machine, pull it slightly forward, about an inch or two and wiggle it around and it'll come up then you can reach down inside of here and you can pull that book out of there okay now it tested the uh, hot and cold and everything and at this point it's going to test the shift into agitation mode and guess what it did not shift into agitation mode there's no agitation this washing machine just told us Probably what's wrong with it is the shifter. So the shifter is malfunctioning. So I'll show you that shifter and where it is. But first we've got to drain the machine. In order to drain the machine, we're going to hit this button a couple more times. And that tells us that the drain pump is working. So it drains. Now we know another part of the machine is okay. So as soon as that's drained out, I'll show you how to shut off everything. We'll tip the machine over, and then I'll show you that shifter. I'll just, just shut this off by holding it. You hold it more than three seconds, everything goes off. I'm going to unplug this, take that out. Now you can see the shifter is right here. This unit right there. And it you have to take this cover off. And then you get to, then you take the screws out of this and you unplug it. Right here is the plug in. That's all you do, and you take that piece. Now, here locally, that part costs about uh, $56. So I'm going to be ordering it online. If you go to Amazon or eBay, you can find that part for almost half that much. So that's what I'm doing. I'm ordering that part. All right. So thanks for watching, and uh, put all your weapons away, calm down, chill out, talk to your machine, and talk back.